Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Niels Bartjes. I will be speaking about recent developments at, at ISFRIC and future developments foreseen for the coming five years. We aim to help increase awareness and understanding of soils in major global issues. For this, we collate, analyze, and subsequently provide a wide range of soil-related products and services to the international community. With our partners, we work on standard development, soil information provisioning, capacity building, and the application of soil information in various fields, such as climate change. In our capacity of World Data Center for Soils, we specifically focus on country documentation, that is the ISRIC soil reference library, soil specimen collections as held in our World Cell Museum, a generation of georeference databases from the Soil Data Hub. Our reference collections are managed through the World Cell Museum in accordance with a regularly updated collection management plan. We manage a large database of quality assessed and standardized soil profile data for the world, known as World Soil Information Service, or WOSIS. This database builds on the contributions of numerous data providers. We use a soil data compilation as well as a large set of environment covariates to generate a range of soil property maps for the world at 250 meter resolution. This product, known as Soil Grids, presents soil property estimates for seven depth intervals of the two meter depths with quantified uncertainty. One way to access and explore the point data and grid layers is through a viewer. This example is soil for soil pH measured in water at the depths of 0 to 5 centimeters as derived from soil grids. The underpinning soil profiles from roses can also be explored and downloaded through the viewer. In the framework of the Global Soil Partnership, we are co-developing the Global Soil Information System. This federated system aims at a bottom-up, counter-driven approach to soil data collection and analysis. This brings me to the developments foreseen over the five next years. Besides cell physical and chemical data, we aim to include cell biology information in our work streams to better support studies of cell functioning and ecosystem health. Within the framework of the Global Cell Partnership, we will contribute to the further development of GLOSIS aimed at the bottom-up, country-driven approach to cell data collection and analysis. On the longer term, the broader vision is that the of a federation of soil information systems and interoperable data sets.